A few weeks ago, a hospital near my house decided to hire a penetration testing company and they launched a phishing campaign against this specific hospital. One time through text message and then also through email. And about 80% of all of the employees at this specific hospital clicked on the link. This is why I'm regularly telling you not to click on any links unless you know who sent it to you and you trust them and then you know where that specific link is going to take you. Today I'm going to be showing you two really simple social engineering tools in order to create phishing emails so you can spoof your ID and say it came from Google or Yahoo or really anyone that you want. And then I'm also going to show you how to create custom URLs so that way whenever you send this link to somebody it looks like it is from a legitimate source. The reason I'm making this video is because because I regularly am hearing from people who have been hacked by clicking on something they should not have, whether it is my family, my friends, or somebody through an email. So I want to make this video to show you just how easy this is and why you need to be cautious whenever clicking on any kind of link or trusting any kind of data that has been sent to you. Now, before we start, I want to tell you that it is illegal to send any kind of text message or email to anybody without their permission. Now let's go ahead and jump into this. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up a terminal and you should already have this installed if you're using Kali Linux, which is what I am using. It is just social engineering tool kit, just like this, and you can hit enter. I think we have to run this with sudo, which we do. So we can go up, control A, sudo and then type in our password and it's going to ask us to read this in terms of service i have read this in the past and basically it says don't do anything illegal with this or the people who make this tool are not responsible so we'll say yes and enter so now it's going to say what do we want to do with this we want to use social engineering attacks so we'll go ahead and type in one and then we're going to use website attacks for the sake of this video so we can hit two and then we want to create a credential harvesting attack so we want to get the credentials from a potential user. So we will tell it three, and then we want to use a website template instead of creating our own website for the sake of this video, which is gonna be number one. And then it is gonna use our IP from our computer, so you don't even need to run if config. It is going to automatically run it, so we can copy this, paste it in, and that's gonna be the URL that we're gonna use. And which template do we wanna use? You can use Twitter, Google, or Java required. We're gonna use Google because it's really common. Most people have a Gmail account. So we can go ahead and hit number two. And then it's going to tell us that this is working. So we have credential harvester is running on port 80, which is going to be HTTP, which can be a problem if your user is paying attention because it's going to say not secure up in the URL. But we're going to go ahead and run this anyway. So we're cloning the website of google.com. So I want to show you what this looks like. So if we open up a Firefox, we're going to be brought to Google. Now all I have to do is paste in my IP address and hit enter. And you're going to see what happens. This looks like the Google login website. So if I make a my email and I just want to say got at gmail.com and then my password is going to be hacked and I go ahead and click sign in and it's going to go ahead and forward us to the actual Google website right here. So we are on the real Google website now and it's going to say sign in over here because it actually didn't work for us. But if we come back over to our terminal, it's going to tell us the possible username is got email dot com and password is hacked which is exactly what i typed in now what's going to happen in most cases is if you come up here and you send somebody a link that is just this ip address they are not going to click on this and if they come in here and they see this ip address they're going to go okay this is not google so what you want to do is go out to google itself and you can just type in url shortener i really like tiny url because if you create a account and you actually pay for it you are able to spoof your url instead of just typing in your url and then having it give you something back. So I'll give you an example. Shorten URL is probably the easiest if you're not going to make an account. You just put in your link, which is going to be our IP address, and you type in shorten URL, and it gives us this URL right here, and you can now copy this, and this is what you would send in your email or your text message. But this doesn't really look very good because it says shorturl.com. Who's going to click that? So that's why if you were to use this in a real penetration testing engagement, you'd want to create a custom URL for your target. So you'd actually wanna make an account, you're gonna to have to pay for it, and then you'll be able to create a custom URL that is gonna look like google.com or whatever you are trying to spoof. So now if we come back over here, instead of using our IP address, we can we can paste in our shortened URL and it brings us back over here. So it still gives us the IP address up here, 
but the link that they're going to click on is going to be this one right here. So if you send this to them in an email, short URL, um, it's still going to look kind of fishy. So what you'd want to do is create an account. It's going to have to be a paid account and you would spoof google.com so that it looks like when they're ready to click on the actual page or the actual link, it would be more believable than just short URL. And then it will bring you them back to this page and we already saw how this worked. So if you wanted to, you could take this link right here and you would just create an email and you would send it to them and you could spoof it that way. Or you could use a text message, which is really becoming the more popular way to spoof people or to fish in order to try and get credentials. So I wanna show you how this works so that way you know to avoid it and just how easy this can be. So we're gonna be using Octopush. You're gonna to need to create an account. I already have an account and you will need to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and then I'll bring you back. All right, now that we are logged in we're gonna have some free credits right here we have five free credits and we're gonna start a new campaign and I want to show you just how easy this can be we're gonna use a text message so we'll use SMS and you would type your message right here so it'd be like um, check your Gmail and then you could paste in our shortened URL right here and this is what it's going to look like when it sends it to them and we want to change our sender so who is sending this to them we can say google is sending them this text message and then the contact we want to send this to we're going to click keyboard and in here you're going to enter your phone number so i'm going to enter in my phone number and send this to myself because i give myself permission to send this text message and now we should be able to send this to ourselves so it should look like this it's from google we're going to check our gmail and by clicking that site and it will take us to our malicious link. So now we should be able to send this by clicking confirm right here. It's gonna ask us, do we want to go ahead and send this? And we're gonna say yes, because we're wanting to send this to ourselves. And we are brought to this page right here and it says the campaign was a success meaning that it has sent that text message to me. And you should receive a text message that looks something like this right here. And if we were to click on it, it's gonna go ahead and open up that fake Gmail page and asking for a login and a username. And if you enter those, then it will be sent to us in our terminal. So I just made this video because I wanted you guys to know how easy this really is. And if you're gonna be a penetration tester, this can be really useful for you if you're allowed to use phishing inside of your penetration testing rules of engagement and if you don't have consent and they're not in the rules of engagement then you should not use this it would definitely be considered illegal so with that go ahead and let other people know not to click on links that they do not know where they came from or who it is sent from thanks for watching